Well, welcome back to Contrastly. My name's Simon Plant, and today we're going to look at presets. Now, I did touch on presets in a previous video, if memory serves me right, and uh, this is just going to enlarge upon that um, and show you how to download presets, how to install them on your system, and how to use them um, either in their entirety or as a starting point, uh, as I do sometimes. The presets, if you go into develop module, your presets uh, are here. Um, down the side and also there's the user presets which is the presets that you can create yourself and I did one here contrasty at the beach which I think was the previous video I did on um, on presets so uh, we're going to show you how to install them I've already actually installed one set here which was supplied by contrasty and these are the ones we're going to use today so I've navigated over to the Contrasty website, which hopefully you're familiar with. Um, it's just been redone, actually. I've got to say, they've done a really nice job uh, of that. Um, you uh, can buy some presets here. There's different packs. But if you want some free ones, simply subscribe up the top here. And subscribe to a newsletter, which again is free, so it's a bit of a no-brainer in my opinion. And you also get 20 Lightroom presets for free. So do that. Once you've done that, uh, once you've downloaded them, it's just a matter of sticking them on your um, on your computer. I've got them on my desktop here, and then installing them. And to install them is pretty simple. You go to Lightroom, and uh, let me just come out of there. And you go to uh, preferences. You go to presets, which is the, the second tab. And then down here, there's a little button that says Show Lightroom Presets Folder. And that's going to do exactly what it says. It's going to take you to the folder where your presets uh, live. And you want to go down to the Develop Presets. And you can simply, like I've, I've already done this, so I'm not going to do it again, but simply just drag and drop. Or you could perhaps maybe just uh, do a copy um, and then do a paste to paste it into there. So, But that's where it's got to go. It's got to go into your uh, presets, uh, develop presets folder, like so. Once you do that, make sure you restart Lightroom if it's still running. And uh, then you should see, under the develop module, you should see your presets there. And there's mine all ready to go. Okay, so we're now back in Lightroom, and this is an image I shot on a recent trip, and I thought it was just a nice uh, little snapshot which uh, would help us uh, show these presets and show you how I use them sometimes. I don't use presets all the time, um, but sometimes if I'm in a bit of a dilemma of what I want to do with an image, I'm a bit stuck. Presets can be quite a good uh, way of helping you make your mind up. So, for instance, we go to develop module. I've, I have processed this image a little bit, but not not over over uh, over processed it. So, let's go to develop module. You'll see our presets here. Let's go into the contrasty uh, presets. Obviously, I've got quite a few in here. Some of them come with Lightroom. Uh, a good way of just sort of trying to work out what you want is sometimes just to highlight the preset and look at the preview up here. So we just flip through these and you can sometimes see um, a starting point, shall we say. Now the one I looked at earlier, which I thought would, would be a good demonstration, was the um, this one here, the Solar Spot 1 Low. And so all you do is just click on that and that loads the preset. Now it has changed the image a fair bit and I may need to go back in and process that but that's the thing with presets, it's sometimes a starting point and one size does not fit all. A preset on one image might be perfect but on nine others it might need a lot of tweaking so it is just a starting point. So we go up here, um, I know that this one has got some radials on it and we can go in and we might decide that the radial maybe needs a little bit more uh, than we're currently getting, so I like the way it's kind of backlighting, it's accentuating the backlighting in this image. So we could bring up the exposure a little bit more on that, and that's quite nice. And uh, just have a little play around. Uh, the dehaze can sometimes work quite nicely, it can s help soften the image, which I quite like there. Uh, maybe it's a bit too much of the cat, so I'll just bring it back a little bit like so and then just come out and that already looks better with this image I think um, 
we might then come back in and just tweak some of the exposures. So what I've done there basically is is basically adjusted the preset which has already been made for me, just adjusted it for this image. Uh, so let's come back in. I'm just going to bring up some of the other settings on this. That's quite nice. And get it to stay. There we go. Um, and just have a bit of a play around. I'm just going to hold down the alter option key on the on the highlights. We don't mind that blowing out because it is just a, a highlight. I am going to just bring the color up, temperature up a little bit, like so. And I'm also going to do one other thing. I'm going to go to the split tone in. I'm going to just bring up the shadow color to neutralize some of the warmth down there. So it's not much color coming in there at all. It's just enough. If I can get this to work. Just to take a little bit of color off those shadows down here. And it just, I think, helps sell the picture a bit better than having an overall warmth to all of it. So close that down. Uh, so it's as simple as that. And there's some other, the, if, you, if you don't like what you've done, you do you can obviously go back into the history panel and you can come back down here and somewhere um there's the preset we added just click on the one before that and that will take you back to where you started but i'm going to just going to take that back to where we were a second ago with our adjustments and what we can do with this once you've made a preset that you really like bear in mind that you know because we use a radial it's going to have you know we're not always going to have lighting in the position of the radial but let's say we didn't use a radial and we but we had an effect that we really liked and we wanted to use that as a uh, one of our go-to presets we can now save this uh, this preset as one of our own and the way we do that is very simple. Um, we just go back to the preset section over here, click on the plus button, and you can add this preset to any way you want, but I would put it in your own user presets uh, so you know it's one that you've made. And we just think of a good name for it, and I've already thought of one, which is warm backlit cat it's quite descriptive uh, descriptive i should say um but uh hopefully that's a, a name i can remember but it doesn't really make a lot of odds because we can obviously still get a preview and then here you can choose whether there's some parts of the preset that you don't really want to carry over so let's say i didn't want to carry over say the split tone in i can untick that but we do so i'm just going to leave all this as it is click on create Okay, and under your user presets, there is the warm backlit cat. Now, if I pick on another image, let's say from the same series, because I know the lighting's going to be very similar, I've literally, all I've got to do is come in and click on, highlight the picture, click on warm backlit cat, and we've got a nice series of images there without having to do too much work. Now on the final note, the final tip, if you created some really nice presets that you really liked and you wanted to share them uh, with your mate down the road or uh, where, wherever, um, then you could literally right click on there and go to export and you could set up a little folder somewhere called uh, presets I made and you could literally export those presets into that folder and email it to somebody else and they could do exactly what we've done today in terms of uh, importing uh, that preset so you know the good way of sharing uh, sharing the love so i hope you've enjoyed this video and it's giving you a little bit more of insights into using presets um go to contrasty website have a good look around there's some really nice stuff on there and uh, sign up for the newsletter and get those free presets and have a play around it's a really good starting point uh for your uh, images um, or you can just use them straight out of the box um, depending on the effects you want. Till next time, thanks for watching.